Hello and welcome. Before you watch this video, pause it, try the problem on your own, and then resume the video when you're ready to compare. Alright, so in this problem, let's read it. They're saying which equation has the same solution as x squared minus 6x minus 12 equals 0. Um, so they give us four choices, and when they're talking about solutions, they're really saying values for x in this case, because that's our variable that they're giving us. Um, you could go through all of these. You could expand all of them. You can do x plus 3 times x plus 3, x minus 3 times x minus 3, and so forth. But I feel like that just takes too long. What they're, another way of dealing with this is to take the original equation right, and factor it and see which of these matches the factored form. That's probably what I would do uh, here. So how do we factor this thing? Well, we have x squared minus 6x minus 12 equals zero. The most basic form of factoring would, would attempt to find two numbers that multiply to negative 12 but add to negative 6. Now, you can try to look for them, but you won't find them, right? There are no numbers that multiply to negative 12 and add to negative 6. So we have to use something called completing the square. So the first step is to add 12 to both sides. You don't have to do this as a first step, but I tend to think it's helpful. Um, so we have 12 on the right side. On the left-hand side, leave a little bit of space. x squared minus 6x, these cancel out, leave the space right here, so we can complete the square. To complete the square, we're going to focus on this number right here. It turns out that to make this side of the equation a perfect square trinomial, three-termed perfect square, um, we always take the number next to x, in this case 6, but really I guess we should think of it as negative 6. We take that number, negative 6, we divide it by 2 and square it. So we always take that number, the coefficient of x, include the negative sign if there is 1, divide it by 2 and then square it. So negative 6 divided by 2, well that's negative 3. If we square that, that's 9. What do we do with this number? Well, we put it right here, plus 9. That makes this side factorable and solvable. But we also have to add 9 to this side, don't forget that. We have to balance our equation. 12 plus 9 is 21. Over here, how do we factor this? Um, we're looking for a number times itself that equals this trinomial. So we factor it out. We have x and x. Two numbers that multiply to 9 but add to negative 6. We'll think about that. 9 is a perfect square. So it's either 3 and 3 or negative 3 and negative 3. I'm going to use negative 3 and negative 3 since we're trying to add to negative 6. So this is x minus 3 squared equals 21, which is choice 2. Since these things are, right, the same exact equation, they must have the same solutions. So that's the logic here. Thanks.